come to Matt Pilates. Uh, I am Matt, and uh, we are recording during the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic in uh, 2020. So today is the 1st of April. Uh, this video is intended uh, for the existing clients of Matt Pilates. Uh, but if you're new, if you just found this video online, uh, of course, uh, enjoy and have fun with this uh, gentle, short, easy workout. Uh, but keep in mind to uh, avoid tensions in your neck, lower back or any uh, compensations. So the, the guidelines would be to avoid any uh, compensations in your body uh, where we lack the mobility or strength. Um, well, this video today uh, is supposed to uh, get us back to routine a little bit, uh, to keep us going and to bring a little bit of smile and something positive for us during those days when we are locked uh, in our houses and so we just don't go crazy and maybe you know to loosen up a little bit of backs and, ha and have something to to do uh, on the daily basis you can do this workout uh, as often as you can and uh, hopefully we will get a little bit few more uh, recordings uh, in the next few days uh, so uh, what you will need today for the, the workout you will need to uh, you may need the, the towel uh, uh, just to maybe place it uh, under your ankle joints to make the sitting position more comfortable for you if you find the tightness in the ankle joints. Also, uh, some of you may need the pillow uh, when you want maybe to be seated on the pillow to make it more comfortable for your uh, hip flexors and generally hip joints to make it maybe easier to lengthen to the spine if you have tight hamstrings or uh, lower back and also you may use this pillow um, or if you have the yoga block to place it under your head to avoid the neck tension okay so this is the introduction let's get to the few simple exercises uh, first of all I would like you to uh, make enough space for yourself uh, on the ground if you don't have the mat you can also use the uh, blanket a little bit of uh, uh, cushioning uh, for your back, okay? So lie down on your backs. This is where I use myself the little block. You can use the pillow or nothing at all. You can place your flat palms on your ribcage. Relax your shoulders and just go for gentle breathing. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the gently pushed lips. Inhale, trying to expand the ribcage like accordion. And exhale, slowly sink the belly in as you exhale. As you inhale, watch your shoulders not tensing up. And exhale. Sink the belly in, maybe gently slide the ribcage down and together. Let's go for two more. Feel the lower lobes of the lungs and blow. And one more time. And slowly blow. With little resistance through your lips. Okay, so now let's find your neutral spine between the flat back and overarched one more or less in the middle, having the hips parallel to the floor. And when you're ready, keeping belly connected, arms long by sides, slowly lift one leg up and lower down. And then the other, inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. And inhale up and exhale down, having the conscious Connection, contraction through the transversals, the belly sinking in. In the same time, keep your pelvic floor muscles gently pulling up. And one more time, each leg. Inhale and exhale. Try to lengthen through the neck and lower down. Now slowly, maybe bring your both hands up, shoulders back and down a little bit and slowly open one knee to the side, come back to center, and then the other, inhale open, exhale close, 
Inhale, open. And exhale, close. And inhale, open. Alternating the sides and close. Inhale through the nose. Keeping belly pulled in, preventing the hips from rocking. Keep on going. And one more time, left. And close. And one more time, right. And close. You can lower your hands down or place them on the hips. And we will go for the tucking the tailbone movement. Try to gently tuck the tailbone until the pelvis, the back lengthens on the ground. And then restore the gut. So you want to draw the pubic bone up, ribcage down. And then come back to your starting position. So a little gap at the beginning. And then blow till the pelvis. Watch your neck and shoulders, not tensing up. And then we start. Let's go for three more. Exhale, blow till the pelvis. Inhale, come back. Exhale, tilt. And come back one more time. And blow. And come back. Okay. So from here now, get your feet together, a bit closer, raise your heels, hands wider on the sides, palms upwards, and slowly twist your knees to the left, head to the right, blow, come back to center, and then to the other side, blow, sinking belly in, and come back. Try to keep your shoulders stabilized and down on the ground, resisting with the belly, exhale, blow. Inhale, come back, contracting the abs to stop the twist while you reduce the back tension and to pull your knees back to center and blow and come back and blow one more time each side. We will go gentle today, try to loosen up and come back to center. If you wish, you can hug both of your knees closer to the chest and gently rock yourselves left and right or maybe some knees, circles and change direction and lower your legs down. So from here now, we go for imprint, tuck the tailbone, no gap on the lower back and we're going to lift one leg up and when you're ready, blow keeping core engaged, the other leg up as well. And you try to tap the floor with one leg, lift it up, and then the other, lift it up. Now watch your shoulders not taking over. Maybe you don't have to go all the way down, just go a few millimeters down and come back to avoid any back tension. And exhale down, inhale up. If you find it still challenging your shoulders or neck, bring your hands up to the ceiling, and let's go for two more. Exhale down, inhale up. Try to put a length in the neck. Watch your lower back and neck not taking over. Let's go one more time. Each leg and blow and hug your knees. And again, loosen up your shoulders and gently rock yourselves left and right. Okay, lower your legs down. Again. Tuck the tailbone till the pelvis, get one leg up and blow, join the other one. And now slowly try to extend one leg forward, come back and then the other blow and come back. Again, watch your shoulders and neck taking over, lengthen to the neck and try to keep your lower back still flat on the ground and come back and blow. The lower you go, the trickier it will be keep your core engaged, not changing the distance between the pubic bone and the ribcage. And blow, and come back, and blow. Don't forget to smile as well. It's supposed to be fun, by the way, even if it doesn't feel like that all the time. One more time, and let's go with the other one, and blow, and hug your knees, loosen up the shoulders, and gently rock yourselves left and right. Let's try one more exercise, this time in neutral spine. So again, from over arch back, 
to flat back somewhere in the middle, little connection, hands long by sides, lift your right leg up and let's go for a few gentle tiny circles. Join the circle, wave your knee up to the ceiling. If you, have, uh, if you want to go for a trickier version, straight leg, as straight as you can of course, depending on your flexibility, and change direction, one blow, two blow, three, and lower down the other one. Start with knee bend first, few circles, barely tight. Try to prevent your hips from rocking left and right. And watch your hands not jamming the ground. Change direction, one and two and three. The other leg up, well, the same leg up, but straight this time, sorry. And go for circle, maybe three times, very tight. And change direction, one and two and three. Bend and lower down. Okay, let's come up to seated. You can use the rolling movement or use your elbow go on the side. All right, so um, this is the time when I, I personally use my block. You can sit on your pillow if you want to. Cross your legs, lengthen through the spine, place your right hand towards the ground, lengthen with your other hand up and side then sliding shoulder down away few little stretch on the side and come back nice and tall, place the other hand up and side then blow, 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 releasing the tension. You can bend your elbow the, of the hand which goes up and also the one which supports you. But watch your shoulder not tensing up the, of the hand which supports you. Inhale up and exhale to the side. Excellent guys. By the way, this is the first video I'm recording, so it could be a little bit um, uh, uncomfortable or challenging to me to actually talk to the empty room. Uh, and also, I'm, I'm aware you may find it a little bit tricky as well to exercise with the video, but hope I hope it will go all well for us. Good. Let's go one more time to each side. Blow, blow, keeping both cheeks firmly on the ground lengthening to the spine, chest open, and one more time to the other side, and then come back and relax your shoulders. A few circles, so up, backwards, and down, up, backwards, and down, okay. Let's go for gentle head circles, loosen up, loosen gently up, and change direction. This is it, one more circle slowly, avoiding any pains or discomforts. Always listen to your body. Both hands in the front, try to reach forward, widen your shoulder blades, and inhale, open chest, look slightly up, and exhale, reach. If you find this sitting position uncomfortable, you may have your feet flat on the ground. Let's go on the side of you. Inhale, open, and exhale, reach round your back. Inhale, open, extend shoulders down and reach one more time, inhale, and now flex your spine forward without forcing it, try to release tension from your mid-lower back as well, so depending on your mobility, you go on as far as it feels comfortable. If you have any signs of the back discomfort or pain, you don't go there at all, okay? So stay in this position, try to connect with your pelvic floor muscles and your transversus, sinking the belly in, loosen up your neck and shoulders, and slowly lengthen up, lower back, mid back, and upper back. Okay, so let's go on your hands and knees now. So place your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and go for the cat stretch. Find your starting position more or less in neutral, so again, core engaged, belly pulled in, and lower back uh, in natural groove, natural shape. And when you're ready, watch your shoulders not tensing up, and try to, as you Exhale, tuck the table, blow, 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 and start rounding the back, rounding the backs. Good, stay there on inhale, and exhale, come back, lower back, mid back, shoulders stabilize, lengthen the neck. And again, exhale, scoop the belly in, round, 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 hold it there, and then slowly come back, lower back, mid back, upper back, lengthen to the spine, watch your head not hanging down, and again, tilt the pelvis, blow, blow. Scoop the belly in, away from the floor, tilt the pelvis, and then come back, come back, come back, come back. Let's go for two more. Exhale, blow, 
sloping bread room. And then come back, try to go bit by bit, vertebra by vertebra. One, last two. Let's go for last two. Blow, blow, blow. And then come back. And one more time, blow. And then aim to sit on your heels. Stay there, loosen up. You can gently go left and right. And on the next exit, slowly lengthen up lower back, mid back, upper back. Okay, let's come back on your hands and knees again. Now this time be very focused on your shoulders placement. So shoulders backwards and down, lengthen the neck, belly tight. And then lift your right hand up, thump, facing upward and twist your spine. Look up, look up, follow with your head. Come back on the ground, shoulders stabilize. And then the other side, aim to reach up, twist. Exhale, come back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, reach and twist, nice and high. Unlock the shoulder, come back, stabilize. Inhale, up and twist. Come back down. And continue. Inhale, through the nose, twist. Open, exhale, down. Inhale, look up and twist. And down. One more time. To the right hand side. Come back and sit backwards. Loosen up again your neck, shoulders and whole back. Let's come back to starting position. Reach your one, let's say right hand forward without twisting spine. And go for a big circle around back to your bum. Place it back on the ground. Shoulders stabilize, belly always gently pulled in. Then reach the other hand up, thumb up, and make the as big circle as your shoulder joint allows you to, and come back to the ground. Shoulders always stabilizing. You can fix them anytime you need to. Hand up, and then big circle. A little bit of clicking sounds. It's okay as long as it's not painful. And reach and circle around, and come back on the ground, and the other one reach. Huge, huge, huge circle, as big as you can, without twisting spine, ideally, lower down, and sit backwards, and again, loosen up left and right. Slowly lengthen up to the lower, mid back, upper back, head, going up last. And this is what I mentioned before. If you find this sitting position awkward for your ankle joints, you may place a little bit of towel, you can roll it even double, place it under your ankle joints, or if you prefer, you can always, after the back exercises, uh, lying on the belly or on the hands and knees, you can always change to sitting just to, flat, to flex forward and loosen up. And from here, whatever position you are at, slowly lengthen up and then lie down on the back again. So now for the next exercise, no blocks or no pillows under the head at all. And you will try to gently tuck the tailbone till the pelvis. Squeeze the bum and slowly roll the hips up. Hold the nice bridge, try to not to overarch the back, core engaged, and slowly roll down. You may get your feet slightly closer to your bum, but not too close. Exhale, till the pelvis, and roll up, roll up. Watch your shoulders, not tensing up. You may need to slide them down, lengthen to the neck, feel the glutes engaging, and slowly roll down to every vertebra. And again, tuck the table, roll up, roll up to the nice long plank, feel the hips opening, squeezing bum, tilting the pelvis, and then slowly, slowly roll down. Let's go for three more. Exhale, flat back first, roll up, blow, 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 blow. Hold it there and slowly roll down. Last two to go. Good. Roll up, hold it there, and roll down vertebra to vertebra. One more time, tilt the pelvis. Roll up to every bit, squeezing the bum, open hips. Try not to go too high as well. Keep the core engaged, and slowly roll down bit by bit. Again, you can hug your knees, upper body up, or upper body down, and just loosen up left and right. Relax your shoulders. Okay. 
lower your legs down. Let's continue with the breathing exercises. And now simply try to squeeze the down and hips up and hold that bridge. Core engaged, shoulders, hands sliding down and lift your one leg straight forward. Place it back on the ground. Try to keep the same height of the hips and then the other one. Reach and come back and blow and come back and blow and come back. One leg straight forward, blow, come back and blow. You will notice your body wants to twist to one side, keep your hips high and level as much as you can. Watch the shoulders neck tensing up. Good. And blow. And down. And blow. And down. One more time each leg. Blow. And down. And one more time the other. Blow. And down. Lower your hips down. Roll down. And again you can hug your knees. And gently roll left and right. Let's try to do one more exercise when you try to lift and your hips off the ground and uh, using only one leg okay if you find it too challenging or causing uh, any discomfort in your back or hip or knee you just come back to previous exercise so when you're ready feet flat on the ground so let's get your left knee close to the chest try to have it close and then pushing off the heel of your right leg try to lift up lift up keeping the knee close to the chest and lower down and again exhale try not to let that knee go away from you keep it close and down two more exhale up keep holding it for a second and down and one more time squeeze the bum and hamstring and down switch the sides hug the knee close to the chest toes up and exhale blow and down you'll notice you won't go as high as before will be quite tight sometimes, try to hold it for a second and down, only two more, blow and down, and one more time, blow and down, okay both legs straight on the ground and try to relax your shoulders and slide your left leg further down the mat little shift in the hips and then reach the other one, blow and blow alternating sides you can add your hand sliding as well same side hand and leg reaching down and then the other all right so let's uh, change your position lie down on your bellies you can just turn around or just come up and lie down on the bellies so starting position try to get, get your shoulders stabilized belly engaged um, imagine there's a little pin or butterfly or cactus under your belly shoulder stabilizing and then try to lengthen to the upper back only and then lower down shoulder stabilizing belly in and lengthen blow try not to tense the shoulders and lower down so we try not to go too high we focus on the upper back extension which I find in my posture extremely difficult but I know you can do even better belly in and exhale hold it there and down let's try the second version arms long by sides now watch your head not being uh, jumping, uh, jumping to the chest try to lengthen the leg first shoulder stabilizing belly in and lengthen a few inches off the ground hold it there and down so you're lengthening to the neck like a spear like an arrow blow hold it there and then relax down Twice more shoulders, squeeze belly in, blow and relax down. One more time, shoulders, belly in, blow. So try not to jump the belly to the ground, suck it in and down. Let's round your spines. Slowly make transition to round, 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 round. Gently, you can go left and right or stay where you are. Sometimes wider knees, it's a little bit more comfortable. And then slowly lengthen up. I hope you can still see me by the way. So uh, when you're ready, lie down on your backs. And again, you may use the block under the head or the pillow or nothing if it's not necessary for you. 
and we try to stabilize the shoulder blades, lengthen the back of the neck, the legs, so lift the head, shoulders off the ground, watch yourself, no rounding, belly pulling, no jumping of the lower back, and then slowly go down. Lengthen, try to slide your ribs down dog. Hold it there, pelvic floor engaged, and lower down. So start with lengthening through the neck, lengthen and blow. Hold it there, and lower down. Only two more to go. Anytime you find your neck tensing, you can support the head with both hands on the sides of your skull and down. One more to go, lengthen and come up, hold it there and then lower down. Let's go for the hundred exercise, so little pulses. So first, tuck the tailbone, tilt the pelvis, flat back this time. We lift one leg up, we join the other one. If you are looking for more challenge, you can lengthen the neck and lift your upper body off the ground, but be aware of uh, not tensing the neck. I, I recommend to keep the head down if necessary. Belly pulled in and you start making the pulses. More or less we go for 100. I find it tricky to count actually uh, when, we, uh, when I'm exercising. So more or less try to go by, uh, by the challenge. Try to keep the belly tight in. And when you're ready, you can start extending one leg forward. You breathe as, uh, as you wish. Sometimes we go for five pulses on inhale. Sometimes five on exhale, but you can change it uh, as you wish. But try to keep your belly tight, extending one leg as you exhale, inhale, come back, and then the other blow, and then come back, and blow, come back. The lower you go, the trickier it will be to keep your belly pulled in. Good. You can also go with both legs at the same time, blow, and then come back. Little Bouncing the little basketballs, watch your shoulders, belly in, come back one more time, then blow, and hug your knees, and loosen up, gently rock yourselves, left and right, lower your legs down, so as you notice we're getting to the core phase of the workout, tuck the table until the pelvis, one leg up, then the other, Upper body nice and high, if it's okay with your neck, place your both hands on the left knee, right leg straight, and switch, blow, and blow, and two, and two, and three, and three, exhale, and exhale four, and four, and five, and five, and six, and six, and seven, and seven, and eight, and eight, and nine, and nine, and 10, and 10, and lower down. Loosen up your shoulders, gently twist your head to the left, and gently twist to the right. Let's get to the obliques exercise now. So when you're ready, lift your upper body nice and high if it's okay. You are ready in the imprint, both legs up, or you can just go from the ground as before. Get your both hands supporting the head. Let's get your one leg straight, and twist to the opposite flex, knee blow, you can bring it closer, and exhale, switch, and exhale, switch, elbows wide, try not to pull the head, and blow, and blow, and three, and three, and four, try to not rock on your hips, and six, and try to keep your belly tight, blow, straight leg, straight leg, blow, and blow, two more, one, one and two elbows wide, two and hug your knees and gently loosen up your lower back. All right, lower your legs down, tuck the table until the pelvis, one leg up then the other, upper body optional up, both legs as straight as we can. You can pull your one leg a little bit closer, lengthen the other one down away and switch. So this is a scissors exercise. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. If it's tight, don't bring it so close. And blow, and blow. No bouncing down, lengthening. Blow, and blow. This is the hard one. Three, three more or less. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, and eight, and eight. Hug your knees again. Loosen up. Relax your shoulders and catch the breath. 
All right. Let's run up to sitting. And flex your spines forward. Loosen up. All right. Slowly lengthen up. Sit maybe on the front edge of your mat a little bit closer. Tuck the tailbone till the pelvis were a few inches behind the sitting bones. Lift one leg up. Try to find the balancing point. Rolling like a ball. By the way, before you roll, remove all the equipment from behind. So try to find the balance on the behind the sitting bones. Inhale. Roll and exhale. Try to find the balancing point. Watch the shoulders tensing up. Inhale. And exhale. Find the balance. Inhale and blow belly belly super tight. Inhale, roll over. Exhale, blow. Watch your neck and shoulders. Try not to look too far. And blow. Keep your knees bent. One more time. Inhale and blow. Find the balance and lower down. Flex your spine forward. Let it go. Breathe natural. Relax. And then slowly lengthen up. So let's go for the side leg lift service. You want to lie down, creating the long line of the body. Now we want to lengthen the legs far away. We want to get the belly tight. Uh, imagine you have the almost gap under, under the waistline and the hand under your head as straight as possible. If your shoulder is in trouble, you may bend your hand or even use the pillow under the head. So the other hand for the balance, if you find it tricky, or go for the straight hand along the body, or just use the fingertips. Try not to load too much weight, okay? And when you're ready, lengthen one leg up, find the glutes engaging, not the hip flexors, and lower down. Inhale up, lengthen the leg, looking straight forward, and down. Inhale, and exhale, two more. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's go one more time up and little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up, join the bottom leg, both legs down. Watch your leg not tensing up, up shoulder stabilized. One, join and down. Belly in. One, join and down. And one, join and down. One more time. One, Join and down. Both legs at the same time. Blow and down. Blow and down. And exhale. Blow and down. One more time. Blow and down. Okay, let's switch the sides. When you're ready, long line of the body, engage your core. Tense your belly in, lengthen the legs, long neck, hand for balance or not, it's up to you. And up, straight leg, and down. And up without moving your spine, and down. This is why we engage the core. Inhale up, exhale down. Squeeze the bum, and lower down. One more, up. Let's hold it and go for pulses. Ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up. Join the bottom one. Both legs down. Belly tight. One, and join, and down. And inhale one. Exhale join, and down. One, and join, and down. And one, and join, and down. One more time. Inhale and blow, and down. Both legs engage your core again. And exhale, both legs up and lower down. And blow and down. Twice more. Exhale, blow. You want to hold it briefly last time. Blow and lower down. Okay, you can uh, lie down on your bellies now. Get your hands wherever you feel comfortable, under the forehead or on the sides. Shoulder stabilizing, belly pulled in, and try to lengthen one leg straight off the ground, lower down, and then the other, and lower down. Now you may notice the 
if your lower back wants to tense up, try to wrap your belly in and use your glutes as much as you can. Exhale, and down, and exhale, and down. You may notice I'm not doing this perfectly. This is my weak point. I hope you can do best, or better at least. Belly tight, shoulders stabilized, blow, and down, and the other blow, and down. Open your legs wider, bend your knees, heels together, and let's squeeze the heels, belly tight, and relax. Exhale, squeeze your heel against the heel, and relax. And exhale, and release. Twice more, squeeze, and release. One more time, squeeze, keep squeezing, and now try to lift your both knees one millimeter on the ground and lower down, lower legs down and round your spines again. Loosen up a little bit, let it go and slowly lengthen up. Let go again on the belly. This time open, maybe get your hands wider slightly forward. You will try to open the chest and this time extend the whole spine as high as you feel comfortable. Watch your shoulders not tense gut and then lower down bit by bit. Shoulders stabilizing belly in, lengthen through the back of the neck. Blow, 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 try not to look too high and lower down. Shoulders, belly in and blow. Hold it there. And slowly go down. One more time only. Slowly up. Hold it briefly. Shoulders just open, shoulders down. And lower down. And let's again round your spines. Loosen up your neck and shoulders. And slowly lengthen up. Lower back, mid back, upper back, head up. Last. Okay, let's go for a few. Uh, gentle stretches. First one, we lie down on the back and just simply hug your left knee closer to the chest. Okay, and just hold it there for 10 seconds. Now let's get your left hand to the side and using your right hand Pull your knee gently across the midline of the body. Find a stretch in your glutes a little bit. You can twist your head opposite direction. And just try to ease, try to relax. Don't fight it, don't pull too hard. Very gentle pull, gentle stretch. And release, lower your foot down, slide it down. And bring the other one closer to the chest first. And just hold it for about 10 seconds. Calming down your breath, relaxing shoulders. Relaxing the back and hip joint. If you find your hip in kind of impingement in the front, just go a little bit further away of your chest. And now get your, using your left hand, pull your knee to the left hand side, right hand on the ground, twisting head opposite direction. And just stay there, long inhale, long exhale, inhale through the nose, and exhale, letting go of the neck, shoulders, hip, and then come back to center, and slide your leg down. Let's place your both hands on the belly. And let's try to inhale into your belly like you want to inflate the balloon. And exhale. Let it go. Relax the shoulders. Inhale into the belly. And exhale. Let it go. Inflate the balloon in through the belly. Let go. And one more time. And let go. 
Okay, one more time. Hands wide on the sides. So you have space. Bend your knees and just twist your both knees to one side and stay there for two, three breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale, letting go, sinking deep. Slowly switch the sides, watch your shoulders not tensing up, try not to jump the ground, just let it go. Okay, let's come back. Let's do one more stretch, actually gonna do it in the kneeling position. You get one leg, let's say left leg in front of you. I want you in this position to tuck the tailbone, tilt the pelvis and gently go forward or a little bit just to find the stretch in your hip flexor. I watch your the tilt of the pelvis, try not to let it go, keep it tilted and just stay there for a long inhale. And long exhale. If you feel nothing, just go a little bit lower, but I'm pretty sure you'll find it pretty quickly if you tilt the pelvis. One more time, long inhale through the nose. And exhale, shift backwards, swap the sides, one leg in front, tuck the tailbone, tilt the pelvis, go a little bit down and find the stretch of your left hip flexor. Long inhale through the nose. Long exhale. If you find it balanced, you can have your foot wider on the side, long inhale, long exhale, you may go one inch lower, one more time, long inhale, and exhale, release, and just go for one more time, kneeling position, just flex down, child pose, shell stretch, just stay there for two, three breaths, long inhale, long exhale, One more time. And slowly lengthen up lower back, mid back, upper back. Open the chest, head up last. Get your shoulders stabilized. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this workout today. Something to keep us going. Uh, I hope you're well and you keep it that way. Uh, stay positive and see you very, very soon.